and it actually is a challenge statistically because our statistical models are based on the assumption that the data look like a normal hmm. bell curve. And if they don't, you can't use what are called parametric statistics. You have to start to use not because your data are not basically meeting the assumption of these statistical models. So we've been looking, in fact, we're doing um, a, a set of experiments on something we call Bayesian hypocrisy. And we're discovering that especially Claude, you know, just like responds pretty much the same every single time it's probed, making us, it's, we're not able to analyze the data. And we, when we look at all of our research across the board, we see two things. One, that the model is showing bias in a more extreme way than humans do in every case. Hmm. So whether it's a face bias, whether it's self bias, whether it's cognitive dissonance, whether it's Bayesian hypocrisy. And to be clear, you, this is coming from someone who has looked at yeah. more or less every form of bias there is. We've looked from at every body, form and, and LGBTQ, we, we have a, everything. Right. And we have a test that we thought picked up bias in the most extreme form available. I mean, that's what makes lots of people unhappy with our work, that we're saying human beings are much more biased than we thought they were. Um, this is way more than that. 